Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat, and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library Podcast. I'm your host, Rocky Vomanella, and this is number two in a five-part series of five ways to keep your top earners and employees when you can't offer a raise. Uh, we just we just reviewed number one, which is offer autonomy. Let's talk about number two, offer them other ways to grow. You know, experience can be a great currency. People are always looking for new experiences, looking to grow and develop. It. So offering ways to learn and gain experience will be vital additions to a future resume someday for somebody. So I may not be able to, I may grow outgrow the company because of its size and it may be a good thing. It could be a mutual understanding that you and I both understand it's time for me to move on, but you've done a great job here. You've grown and developed. We've enjoyed having you as part of our organization, but it is time for you to move on. Well, that experience comes from you offering them ways to grow, you helping them grow and develop many, many times you grow and develop laterally. It's not always a promotion that gets you that next lateral move. Someone gives you additional responsibility. Someone lets you run a meeting. You bring in someone to a staff meeting to understand what happens in that staff meeting, how are decisions made inside an organization. And so those are all ways to help you grow and develop. And sadly, you may outgrow the company and the company clearly understands that. Look, it happens all the time in the sports world. Think about teams that, you know, the assistant coach becomes the head coach. I'm sure that head coach would have loved his or her assistant to stay on and continue to help them uh, produce a winning team. But they also know it's time for that individual to be a head coach. And you can't have two head coaches. You only have one head coach. And so it's time for that person to move on. That's when the head coach takes as much pride in your promotion as you take in your promotion. So think about that for a second. I'm the head coach. I've mentored you. I've helped give you other ways to grow. I've seen you grow from your graduate assistant right on up through the ranks until you became an assistant head coach. And now it's time for you to move on. I've seen you become that frontline supervisor to a full part-time soup to maybe a full-time soup, then a manager. And now it's time for you to become that next level. And so I don't have that opportunity inside my area of responsibility, but another part of our organization does, or maybe another company does. I show my growth as a leader by offering you that opportunity and helping you with that opportunity and guiding you with that opportunity and understanding that I'm going to have to let you go. You allow me to grow by offering me these different ways to grow and helping me grow. And so number two, I think is one that is so important and one that doesn't, we don't talk a lot about, and that's offering your people opportunities and ways to grow inside your organization. And you realizing that someday they may outgrow you and the things that you can offer inside your organization could be, they move somewhere laterally inside the organization and get a promotion, maybe to another division, another part of the company, maybe they move on to another company, but that's the only chance for them to grow. And you show, you know, your real courage as a leader and, and, and who you are as a leader by your ability or desire to let them grow. So number two is offer them other ways to grow and give them the opportunity to grow and develop inside your organization, both laterally and upward, and give them the experience they need to create that resume that really makes them the person that every organization would want. Until we talk again, be safe. Thank you for being a part of the Leadership Library family, and I hope you enjoy these episodes. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Leadership Library, a bi-weekly podcast designed to help you find your leadership aha moment. To access Rocky Romanella for consulting, keynote speaking, or training your business, head to tightenthelugnuts.com. You can also head to tightenthelugnuts.com and click the link for Leadership Library to see this episode or every episode recorded by Rocky Romanella in the Leadership Library. And until next episode, remember, 
The speed of the leader determines the pace of the pack. 